All right, folks, so this is the second video of that IMU series. So I have a circuit playground here already with the accelerometer code. Uh, this is mu. And uh, then I'm importing some module he modules here. And uh, I create an I squared C object to get the accelerometer working. And then I just basically have a, a simple while true statement that measures the X, Y, and Z acceleration, then prints them to the screen here. And then it also plots it over here on the right. So I can, I can move the accelerometer around and, all of those values change. The point though is that if I uh, leave it flat, so it's on the desk over here, you can't see it, but it, it, if I leave it flat on the desk over here, you see that the X and Y values are pretty close to zero. I could probably calibrate those and subtract out that bias, um, but that's close enough. And then here's the Z axis uh, close to 10. And so, and so here's the, that, that, here's the Z axis clearly, which is you know close to this 12 tick mark. And then the blue and green lines here, those are the X and Y axes. So if you recall from the last video, I talked about, and I should have, I should have had this queued up already. I talked about uh, getting the pitch and roll angles from uh, the accelerometer measurements. And so I'm gonna do that here. Uh, this, this might be a quick video, uh, but basically I'm gonna get my AX, my AY, and my AZ. And I'm just gonna say that real quick. I just, all I did was change the name. And then I am going to compute the norm, so I'm gonna call this A uh, norm, right? So I have to, in order for, to get this to work, I have to uh, divide out the norm there. And so I'm gonna compute the norm, so that's uh, the square, I think it's actually, so I imported the math module. So I think it's uh, math dot square root, and then I'm just gonna do AX times AX plus AY times AY plus AZ times AZ. And whenever I'm writing code for actual hardware, I like to save after every line of code. If I know what I'm doing, I'll save after a couple, but I like to make sure that the code is still working. Um, so there's a norm. And so I'm gonna say AX bar slash equals a norm, um, a Y bar slash equals a norm, and then uh, a Z bar slash equals, oh, I can't do this yet. I can't do the slash equals because the variable doesn't exist. So I'm gonna just do, I'm just gonna do a, a straight equals. I was trying to do a shortcut and I realized that wasn't gonna work. So then I should be able to see, oh, I can't, I, don't, I can't see them yet because I have to print and plot them. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And the axes, you, you see the, that, that top line went down and the, as soon as that gets over, the axes should reset. So there goes the axes resetting. Cool, so yeah, so that this line is right at one and these lines are pretty much at zero. And if, again, I, I could calibrate it this I wanted to, uh, but those values are so close to zero, it doesn't matter. And then the z-axis is right at, at, at one o'clock right there, which is kind of nice. And if I rotate this thing, um, you know, I still get, oh, interesting, it pegs at one, right? Because I normalized it, so it, it has to be, so I basically get plus or minus one. That's, that's very cool. Uh, cool. So there you, there you have it. So that's the normalization. So then the pitch angle is just the sine inverse of AX. So I'm gonna say theta is the negative math dot a sine of ax bar. And I'm gonna go ahead and multiply by 180 over pi. Do, is, there a, is there a pi component? Hmm. I guess we're just gonna do 3.1415926540, that's close enough. And then instead of plotting accelerations, I'm gonna go ahead and just plot theta. And if this is working right, um, I should see, oh, interesting. So theta is this way. Okay, you can't see it. So theta is this way. So there's negative 45 degrees and then there's positive 45 degrees. And then if I go up to positive 90, it should freak out here. Oh, it's doing okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, it's not doing okay. I was, it should have gone minus 90. It should have gone to like minus 100, but it didn't. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying before. That you, this this equation is only valid between plus or minus minus plus or minus ninety degrees. Okay, so that's theta. So then let's look at the roll angle. So the roll angle is the tan inverse of a y bar over a z bar. So let's do uh, roll is uh, math dot a tan two, and I can do a y bar over a is a z yeah a z bar. Okay. Uh, and then plot the roll angle. Okay, so now I have here, so this is uh, pitch, plus or minus whatever, 
And then, let's see, so it doesn't, something's wrong. A Y bar is A Z over A norm. A Z bar. Oh, I forgot to multiply by 180 over pi. So it's really, really small. Four one five nine two six five four. I should probably make pi a variable. Okay, now we're talking. Uh, so I was plotting in radians, not degrees. Okay, so pitch in the blue line still works. You can see that on the screen. And then the roll axis. There we go. So it works. So those equations that I derived are correct. Very cool. So if you have like a little, I don't know, platform and you're trying to measure the roll and the pitch axes, you can use these two simple equations and, and you just need an accelerometer. I mean, the circuit playground is $25. So you can buy this thing for 25 bucks and use the accelerometer measurement and use these equations here that I, I derived, or you can find them probably in any, any, any GitHub website and you can get roll and pitch. And so if you're doing like a two wheeled robot or you're doing like a platform that's like rotating or, or even a quadcopter. Um, but again, you can't get the yaw measurement unless you have a magnetometer. And so that's gonna come in a, in a much later video uh, just because I don't have a magnetometer lying around, I'd have, to, I'd have to go grab one from the lab. So if you have any questions, uh, post in the comments. I hope this video was, was helpful. Like I, it, that, this is what, 22 lines of code, 23 lines of code, it's not, it's not very complex. Okay, I will see y'all in the next video.